Hi, I'm Kay. Thank you so much for joining me for my big review for Sybil or Sybil in Spring Honey Tea by Amour. Um, but first, before we start, I would like to say thank you to Trentka Wicks for sending me this beautiful wig so I can review her for you. Don't forget, like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at KWISWIX. So, let's get started. So let's start with the colour, Spring Honey Tea. It's a beautiful colour. I really, really like it. You haven't got a root, so it's a non-rooted colour. So for everyone who loves non-rooted colour, this one could be for you. So you have a blend of Honey Blonde and Gold Platinum Blonde. And towards the tips, so this is what the T stand for, tipped, you have these platinum colors again in on the tips very subtly done but it has such a nice effect such a nice spring summery effect really pretty so let's look at the cup construction it's quite an exquisite cup construction so what you have is a lace front that runs into the ear tab so you have that extended lace front all the way round from ear tap to ear tap. You have a double mono top, so you can part it wherever you like. You have a hand tied cap, and then you have a row of covered wefts. There isn't much stretch in this at all. You have an extended velvet nape with Velcro adjusters, and your ear tabs are lace covered with metal stays in them. I find this cap construction really comfortable, really soft. So I'm going to put Sybil on and I'm going to talk more about her then. And here is Sybil on. She is straight out of the box. All I've done is shake her and brush her. Um, straight out of the box, fit wise, I don't have to any, do anything with the adjusters. I'm a 21.5 inch circumference, so petite average, and straight out of the box, it fits me really well. There is very little gapping at the back, very little, and it fits nicely around the circumference. So what you have is a really nice, slightly layered bob, with a low density, so I find this really natural. There's no permities that I can feel. You have a little bit of a fringe, which I think is face framing layers, I think are always really flattering. It's, it's an easy to wear everyday style. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's really, really pretty. So let's look at the lace front. So you have that extended lace front. So you have my hair here, so you have to ignore that. And then just all the way around. And because there is no root, look at this lace front. I think it's beautiful. I think it's really well done. The transition into the ear tabs, I think overall this is well done on this piece. When you tuck it behind your ears, let me just <laughs> sort of the fringe. I don't think you really can see that. Let me see the other side. So I think that's nicely done. Let's look at this mono top, which I just think looks so natural. Really, it's just. I think it's a really nice natural piece. So let's look at Sybil from all sides. So my front, my right hand side, my left hand side, and the back. I really like how she moves. 
think these layers in there really give it a really natural, nice movement that you want to play with all day. So as I said, it's low density, so not a problem to tuck it, which I think is a really cute look with this piece. You can do it on both sides easily, not a problem. Um, Fit-wise, as I said, it fits nicely. Let's look at the placement of the ear tabs nicely on me. They finish here, which is slightly higher than I normally like, but the coverage, as you can see, is still really good. You can see a little bit of my own bio hair that I left, but I don't mind it. I don't have a problem with it. Obviously, if you have a problem with it, you can always add some powder or anything to your bio hair if you want to. So styling option wise, as I said, I think just tucking her makes her look even cuter um, on both sides or just on one side, whichever way. You can tie her, but it is a very tiny, tiny ponytail. But sometimes it's just good to have an option like that and to know that this is possible. I think it's really quite cute. Because of that extended lace front, you can obviously pull, pull back the fringe as much or as little as you like. So you can do it all, all of it like this. Or you can just have a section, tuck one bit behind the ear, whatever you like really. Because of that really extended lace front, you have a little bit more styling options at the front. So that's really handy. Half up, half down is possible, but you have that shorter fringe that will fall out. So you have to clip it back if it annoys you. But I think it's another really cute look for this one. So I'm going to take you outside so you can see this gorgeous color in the natural light. I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, the wig I was wearing at the beginning of the review is the Bluebell by Sentu, which I also reviewed and I will link the information um, you need below if you are interested having a look at that one. Thank you again to Trendco Mix for sending me Sybil um, and the Bluebell so I can review them for you. Um, don't forget, like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram at kwaswigs. So have a lovely, lovely day and I hope I see you soon. Bye!